Hey, this is Doug from Refocus. Uh, I'm reporting today from the inside of the city center here in Mitzellini on Lesbos. I really wanted to give you guys a, a sense of a difference of uh, what's going on in the camp to what's happening here in town. As you can hear in the background, the DJ is spinning, there's music blasting, people are out socializing, people are in cafes and enjoying uh, the last days of summer. It's hot, it's over 30 degrees today. Uh, people are really just kind of living a happy Saturday. We've had 112 cases inside Mitzellini on Lesbos. We've had deaths. We were in the hospital last night and there are more than 20 people in emergency condition. Island is open for tourism. Businesses are open, shops are open, cafes are open. Yes, we have to wear masks as we walk down the street, but I'm wearing this while sitting in a cafe and that's something that I do not have to do. All the people behind me are not wearing masks. They're able to sit down in a cafe, sit close to each other and enjoy their day. Inside the camp, people are not allowed out. They're suffering through the heat. They don't have access to clean water on a daily basis. After two days, they finally resumed uh, hand washing stations outside the camp, which is by an NGO, not by the government. People are protesting the quality of the food that they are being provided. They're not allowed out to buy anything else to cook for themselves. And no one inside the camp can ignore the two worlds, one island experience. It's such a stark contrast between what's happening inside the camp for them and what's happening out here. And the feeling we get from our students and from our citizen journalists who are talking about the reality that they're facing is to say that even in the face of a pandemic, their lives do not matter. This is what they're digesting on a daily basis. This is what they get every day on the food line, that they don't count, that their life is expendable. The Minister of Migration, Mitaraki, saying that that one single case inside the camp is justification for a closed center. Uh, you have 112 reported cases here in town and cafes are open and life is as it usually is and they have not gone back to the lockdown that they had back in March that Greece has been celebrated for. Yet one case in the camp and 13,000 plus people are on extreme lockdown. So two worlds, one island, more coming your way.